All right, looking forward to that game indeed next week between CAK and Webb. We were looking forward to this game tonight. Alcoa and Maryville, the Battle of Pistol Creek, there for us, our very own Paige Dower. Few rivalries compare to this one, a regular season matchup that circled on the calendar year in and year out. A victory here can mean more than winning the state championship. Of course, they're talking about the matchup between Maryville and Alcoa, and tonight those Alcoa fans believe the night was theirs. Man, it's tradition. We, we didn't beat them next or last year. We got so close, we got to get them this year. We got to. We got a big school thinking they can take us down. We're 3A and we still give them competition. We got to beat them. Really cool moment before the game with the paratroopers all coming down with their own flags. One for Alcoa, another for Maryville, and lastly, the game ball for tonight's game between Maryville and Alcoa. This game coming in with all of the hype, both teams looking to deliver. We'll start on offense for Maribel with Noah Vaughn, who takes a direct snap, makes a couple cuts, finds the gap, almost tripped up, but he's free and flies into the end zone for the first score of the night midway through the first quarter. Alcoa, two marches downfield, now inside the 10 at Zach Lunsford. The lateral toss to Brennan Duggan, who waltzes in for their first touchdown of the night early in the second quarter. Alcoa back in Red Rebel territory, almost a direct snap to Jordan Harris, rushes to the edge, cuts up the sideline, and he can't be beat. Alcoa takes the lead 14-7 heading into halftime. Late in the third, Maryville trying to wheel their way through inside the five. Matthew Plimmer fakes the handoff, rolls right, sails it to Caleb Graham on an island in the end zone. Maryville ties the game up at 14 apiece. Later, Alcoa scores again, so they have the 2014 lead. But the game comes down to the final 40 seconds, a ticking clock. Maryville on fourth down with a final shot to win it all. Confusion seems to be happening at the line, but Plummer, he snaps the ball, slings it downfield. Harris watching it all day long. Alcoa getting the pick. Harris takes it to the house, the nail in the coffin, and Alcoa wins it for the first time since 2018 and remain perfect on the year. You've beat this team, and these seniors will take this with them the rest of their life. That's what makes me so happy. No matter what happens, they will. They can say, and they can walk around this town and say, well, what happened to my senior year? Jordan Harris can, you know, they will talk some trash with some Maryville guys, and, they, and then he can say, well, what happened to my senior year, buddy? You know, and so that's where uh, just the smiles, it turns them back into little kids. You know, if you look on the smile on their face right now, it turns them back into little kids. And uh, there's, it's why you do all the work that you do. And like I said, you think you've seen it all until you saw what happened tonight. Coach Brian Nixon. Paige Dow reporting for us. Great job. Great game. Great game. How about that? Brian Nix, first year head coach for uh, for Alcoa, and he gets the win in the biggest game of the year for both schools. Alcoa improves to three and one, their first win since 2018 over their neighbors uh, from Maryville. Maryville, by the way, falls to three and one on the season. Again, Alcoa now four and zero. Oh. All right.